Tash the Lake, welcome to Tibet this week. We bring you news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's have a look at today's headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama expresses sympathy for the victims of incessant rain in Himachal Pradesh. His Holiness the Dalai Lama arrives in Leh amidst rousing welcome. World celebrates 88th birthday of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. Kalu Nonzudoma meets Tibet support groups in Tokyo. Former Tibetan political prisoner Thindu Pongchen addresses CTA civil servants. Representative Telu Tulku Rinpoche welcomes India's Lok Sabha speaker to Mongolia. Taiwanese parliament in Hong Seng Han visits Tibetan parliament in exile. Parliamentary delegation concludes Tibet advocacy in Europe. On Wednesday this week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama wrote to Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh and expressed sadness over damages caused by torrential rains that have triggered floods and landslides in North India, particularly in Himachal Pradesh. As a mark of his solidarity with the people of Himachal Pradesh, the Dalai Lama Trust is making a donation towards rescue and relief efforts. On Tuesday morning this week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama flew from Delhi and arrived in Leh. His Holiness was received at the airport by Thikse Rinpoche, Taklung Matul Rinpoche, Taklung Tsitul Rinpoche, Chato Rinpoche and Dukpa Kamdrak Rinpoche, the leaders of the Ladakh Buddhist Association, as well as Honorable Chief Executive Councillor Ladakh Hill Development Council, Advocate Tashi Gelten, members of the Parliament Jamyan Sering Namgel and Chief Representative Officer of the Tibetan Settlement Tundup Tashi. During a month-long stay in Ladakh, His Holiness is scheduled to give three days of teachings on the mornings of July 21st, 22nd and 23rd at Shivese Teaching Ground near Choklamsar at the request of the Ladakh Buddhist Association and Ladakh Gomba Association. On the occasion of the 88th birthday of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Tibetans led by Central Tibetan Administration gathered at the Tsugla Kang courtyard to commemorate the biggest celebration of the year. His Holiness the Dalai Lama graced the occasion along with Chief Guest Chief Minister Sukhwinder Singh Suku of Himachal Pradesh, Special Guest Vice Chair of Taiwanese Parliamentary Group for Tibet, Hong Seng Han, heads of the three democratic pillars of Central Tibetan Administration, Kaluns, Tibetan parliamentarians, heads of the Central Tibetan Administration autonomous bodies, and others. His Holiness the Dalai Lama addressed the gathering, sharing his lifelong commitments to helping others and emphasized the need for helping others. Chief Guest Sukhwinder Singh Suku, CM of Himachal Pradesh, greeted His Holiness on the latest 88th birthday and paid tribute to His Holiness by calling him an icon of peace and compassion and messenger of love and brotherhood and said His Holiness' life stands an inspiration to all. Special Guest Vice Chair of Taiwanese Parliamentary Group for Tibet, Hong Sen Han, acknowledged His Holiness' role in advocating for the democracy and freedom of Tibet and joy of humanity. Sikyong Pimbatsri and Speaker Sunam Tempel delivered the statements of the Kashak and Tibetan Parliament, respectively. The event saw lively cultural performances from Tibetan schools, regional Tibetan associations in Dharamshala, and the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. <laughs> It also saw the launch of two books. One is published by the Department of Information and International Relations, while the other is on Tibetan culture and arts. Six civil servants were felicitated by the Tibetan Public Service Commission on the completion of 25 years of service. Similarly, two civil servants were awarded with excellence awards for their distinctive service. Similarly, the day was joyously celebrated by Tibetans and friends of Tibet in different parts of the world, including offices of Tibet, Washington, D.C., Brussels, Taiwan, Japan, Australia, Russia and Mongolia, and France. The U.S. Special Coordinator of Tibetan Issues, Azra Zia, attended the celebration of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's 88th birthday last Thursday, organized by Office of Tibet in Washington. On the same day, the Tibetan associations of Charlottesville, Massachusetts and Minnesota also commemorated the event, which was also attended by several U.S. officials, led staff and Tibet supporters. 
Congressman Jim McGovern led Representative Lindsay Sabodosa, Representative Daniel Carey and Representative Kristen Aleko attended the celebration in Massachusetts. The celebration in Minnesota was attended by Representative Sandra Feast and other dignitaries. India-Tibet Friendship Society and its regional chapters in Bihar, Patna, Jodhpur, Reva in Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra celebrated the 88th birthday of His Holiness the Dalai Lama by organizing various activities and programs. Bharat Dipa Sayog Manch also celebrated the 88th birth anniversary of His Holiness the Dalai Lama with great enthusiasm. Bharat Dipa Sayog Manch also celebrated the occasion in Delhi, Haryana, Arunachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Assam, Guwahati, Ghaziabad, Mirat, Shamli, Musafanagar, Saranpur, Hapur and Gautam Buddh Nagar in Uttar Pradesh. To mark His Holiness the Dalai Lama's 88th birthday on 6 July, a special tour called Connection with Compassion was organized by Representative Jingmi Tsiri in Latin America to educate people on His Holiness teaching of compassion. The tour will provide opportunities for individuals to engage with the principles of compassion and discover practical ways to incorporate them into their lives. On Monday this week, Kalle Nozudoma of the Department of Information and International Relations reached Tokyo for her first official visit to the country. Kalle visited the Tibet House Japan's office at Nishichoi, Shinkuchu, and later met with the members of the Tibet Support Group at the office and thanked them for their continued support of the Tibet issue. Kalum briefed the members on the goal and vision of the Central Tibetan Administration to restore freedom in Tibet and to develop the capacity of the Tibetans to continue our movement. Kalu Nozidoma is scheduled to meet parliament members, deliver talks at universities and Mongol Tibet culture and religious symbolism at Tokyo University and attend a press conference and a book release and meet the Tibetan community in Japan. A former Tibetan political prisoner and filmmaker, Tindu Wangchen, addressed the civil servants of the Central Tibetan Administration on the human rights situation in Tibet at Sikyong Hall as part of a Tibet Museum bi-monthly talk series. The renowned activist, well known for his documentary, Leaving Fear Behind, Jigtail in Tibetan, was introduced in the brief bio by Secretary Kama Chuing of the Department of Information and International Relations, Central Tibetan Administration, before the address. In his talk, Ndu Wangchen recalled the ensuing struggles he underwent following his arrest in 2008 to shed light on the People's Republic of China's violation of human rights in Tibet. Ndu Wangchen met with Speaker Kemposunam Tembel and Security Kalun Domagiri. The Honorable Speaker of Lok Sabha, India's lower chamber of parliament, Sri Om Birla, paid a visit to Central Buddhist Monastery Gandhin Thekchaling in Ulaanbaadar to pay his respects during his official three-day visit to Mongolia. Telo Turku Rinpoche, the representative of His Holiness the Dalai Lama to Mongolia, Russia and CIS countries, met with Honorable Speaker Om Birla during an award ceremony where Rinpoche was introduced to the Speaker by Indian Ambassador to Mongolia, Sri M.P. Singh. Taiwanese parliamentarian Hang Sen Han visited the Tibetan parliament in exile and met with Speaker Kemposunam Tempel and Deputy Speaker Thomas Rinteka on July 4th. During the meeting, the speakers spoke on the misinformation spread by the Chinese government for their political gain and on the need for stronger ties between Taiwanese and Tibetan parliaments. They also spoke on the need for more participation in international network of parliamentarians on Tibet from the lawmakers of Taiwan and other democratic nations. Tibetan parliamentary delegation consisting of Kembo Jambel Tenzil, Loben Thubden Gelsen and Doji Siden successfully concluded the official Tibet advocacy tour to Europe on Monday this week. The Tibetan lawmakers advocated Tibet to governmental and non-governmental organizations in Berlin, Germany, and later they had a meeting with the Schatz Schilling Foundation, Germany's foreign office, and paid a courtesy call to the head of its China section. The Tibetan MPs attended the celebration of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama's 88th birthday anniversary alongside Representative Tile Chuiki of the Geneva Tibet Bureau, Vice President of the Tibetan Community, Kai Müller, ICT Germany Executive Director, Tenzin Zogboyer, President of German Tibet Support Group, and others. And on the final leg of the tour, the Tibetan Parliamentary Delegation visited the Fetig Norman Foundation and met with Maria Wolf, Vice President of the International Desk, Charles Do Vinage, 
head of the Asia desk and staff. They exchanged ideas and interacted on the undertakings of the FNF and the Tibetan parliament. That is all the news for this week's edition of Tibet This Week. Thank you for watching Tibet TV.